Ladies and gentlemen, the EFF have had their protests, and it was a disaster. It was basically a wet fish. It was a flop. It was, uh, you know, for the puns. What do you think of it, Ramon? Uh, it was, as I truly, truly suspected, the EFF were nowhere to be found. I actually, on purpose, on my Monday, took a little bit of time off work, drove all the way to Centurion from Johannesburg, drove all the way to Pretoria, back, went to the shopping mall, and back, and I didn't see one red beret anywhere. Nowhere. And I covered a sub substantial portion of Gauteng during the course of my drive. So it felt like sort of lockdown level four. Everyone was just staying at home and having a bra instead, which I approve of. Yeah, so I did something very similar. I got together my tripod, I put my camera on it, I put a light on it, a little microphone on it. I was set. I thought to myself, when I see those red berets, I'm going to walk straight up to them. I'm going to give them an interview. I'm going to give them their moment to shine. And I drove around and I couldn't see them. Then I was checking all the crime groups and every single time they were like, ah, they're down that road. So off I would drive. And when I got there, they were gone because Saps had literally thrown a flash grenade and they'd run like ants. When Saps actually wants to do a good job, they kind of do one. This shows you that the EFF is not a real force in South Africa. And in reality, the actual only force that there is, the axis of evil in South Africa, is the corporate media. The entire protest, the entire demonstration was harped up by the media. Which I think is a very important point, right? And we made this point a bit earlier about the shutdown. We're saying it's going to be a flop. It's not going to really matter much. And we were correct, of course, as we tend to be on this particular channel. But I wonder, is the EFF very similar to the virus of unknown origin, where there is a huge moral panic about it? There is a great amount of angst and anxiety and action taken to prevent this virus from taking hold. And then afterwards, we find out, well, you know, maybe this thing wasn't that bad in the first place. That is the EFF in a nutshell, except for the fact that it's not as bad in the first place, as in it doesn't actually exist manifestly in reality. The EFF is basically a giant meme perpetrated by uh, Judas Malema and perpetrated by the mainstream media as a sort of galvanizing forces for the masses of South Africa. That is not the case, my friends. That is not the case. Judas Malema himself was in the middle of Pretoria at Church Square. How many people rocked up to go see him? 1,500 people. I was in the DA march. There were 10,000 people on that march to protest load shedding. This is not the same. The EFF is completely phony. It's fake. It doesn't actually exist manifestly in real life. The EFF has been made out to be South Africa's big boogeyman. They were going to destroy the place and they were the revolutionary forces. They were going to overtake everything. EFF violence and whatever else. Look up the definition of terrorist organization. The EFF fits it exactly, which is why everybody that shut down their business today did not do it in solidarity with the EFF. They did it in fear of the EFF. However, it is not the EFF that spreads that fear. It is the mainstream media, the same media that spread the fear of the virus of unknown origin. But most importantly, the EFF is only a terrorist organization when there is nothing in front of it. Right? When they went to go burn down clicks, clicks didn't save themselves or try to protect themselves. Same with H&M, same with a variety of these protests that the EFF partake in. When there is real opposition, they fade away like raindrops during a thunderstorm. Right? There is nothing there. So really, fundamentally, what we're trying to say, or at least what I'm trying to say, and maybe Byron will agree with me, is that the EFF is largely a figment of the imagination, provided you have a stance against them, a physical stance against them. In tomorrow's video, we'll talk about the police response and how great it was. But for today, it's very important to understand your fear of the EFF is unsubstantiated. It does not exist as a political entity that will drive meaningful change in South Africa. And the shutdown, for lack of a better term, shows that it was nothing. It was as if it never happened. 100% agree with that. The EFF have shown themselves to be a non-consequential party, which to be frank, I think we were already understanding. We've seen all of the by-election results this year, and they've all shown that the EFF has gained less supporters in terms of numbers than I have fingers on my hands. They just do not have the electoral support that they once did because South Africans are hutful with the response that they get. They don't want to live in fear. They don't want to live in violence. They don't want to live in a country where their everyday reality is just more of the same. Protest, protest, violence, destruction. You don't negotiate with terrorists. You tell them to fuck off. The EFF keeps talking about the revolution, that they will kill for the revolution, that, you know, violence is justified for the revolution. And you'll find out, in fact, the EFF are not a revolutionary force whatsoever. As we saw during the course of the shutdown, uh, they run away. 
right? As soon as there was any opposition, they ran away completely. A true revolutionary force, even in the face of the odds against them, will fight tooth and nail for something they truly believe in. The EFF don't do that. They laugh around, they cut trees down, they set a few tires on fire. That's it. That's a joke. And you should treat them like a joke.